Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, uh, we were talking about throughout the year last year of the famous Outlook app that is going to take over mail-in calendar. We talked about how in February uh, updates Windows 10 will uh, force the Outlook app rather than mail-in calendar to everyone. Uh, in Windows 11, there were still some people that were able to use the mail-in calendar app. And, well, those people are going to find a surprise in the next days or weeks as it is now going to give you either a message like this one, Windows mail-in calendar are no longer supported. And even if you try, um, you know, registry hacks, even if you try all sorts of little tricks that used to work, that won't work anymore. The apps themselves will be unable to send or receive emails. So it's going to give you the opportunity to export data to Outlook or open Outlook. So uh, that's the definite nail in the coffin of mail and calendar app. And of course, if you look at the mail app, even if you can't get mail app anymore, it's still written there in the list of apps uh, with the calendar app, of course. And if you click on it, well, this is what happens. It opens the Outlook app directly. So uh, forget it. It's uh, now going to be an obligation. And uh, Outlook, of course, contains contains a uh, calendar on the upper left here where you can open the calendar for Outlook. I saw some people uh, thinking there was no calendar in Outlook. There is, but uh, I know a lot of people enjoyed the mailing calendar app the way it was before. So this is to align, of course, with Microsoft's own vision of what email is and try to make the uh, Outlook app kind of similar and work like the online version of um, the Outlook uh, app and the Outlook email. So um, if you are still capable of running mail and calendar, it's, the days are now really numbered. Uh, you should be unable to use them in the next days or weeks, uh, probably maybe like Windows 10 in February. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.